Hi, welcome to the Academy of Photography. We teach people not to shoot only, but to be invisible. I'm Christian Tudor and today I would like to propose a uh, exercise in regards to learn how to use second curtain flash sync. First of all, I'm going to explain to you how the flash works in relation to the exposure, what is the normal curtain sync and what is the flash second curtain sync, what is a good use for the second flash sync. So what I'm proposing today is to show you an analogy how the flash works in relation to an exposure. I just have this beautiful camera, it's an old camera, I used to use it with film and, and I'm just going to simulate an exposure today. So this is just normal exposure. So the exposure is basically the cycle when the first curtain opens, that's called the called first curtain, and the shutter curtains closes. Now what really happens in reality, this is obviously an exaggerated exercise, after curtain opens, the flash, let's assume this torch is the flash, uh, the flash triggers for a specific very short period of time in comparison with the uh, exposure. I'm not 100% sure, probably it's two thousandths of a second or even shorter. That triggers and stops and now the exposure continues and there we go. Now in case we have a second curtain shutter, what really happens is the exposure will start right before the curtain closes I'm gonna have the flash to trigger after the flash triggers the exposure finishes in normal situation the flash will light up the scene at the, at the beginning of the exposure but with the second curtain flash flash will trigger at the end I'm gonna show you a quickly exercise how that really translates into practice. Uh, we'll take it from there. Just for this experiment to prove how the first curtain uh, and second curtain will act, I have prepared the normal camera on manual mode and it will trigger with a delay of two seconds. It, so it's a uh, long time exposure. First instance, it will trigger the flash at the beginning of the exposure. And secondly, it will trigger the flash at the end of the exposure. Just very simple. Uh, so the camera settings will be f22, 2 seconds and ISO 100. I'm gonna switch off the lights, I'm gonna use a candle and I'm gonna show you exactly what the result is. It's specifically designed to be dark so I can actually have a long exposure. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna walk a couple of meters with this light and trigger and let's see what happens. So walking, and this is it. Let's see what we've got, exactly the effect I was after. So basically it triggers at the beginning and you will see the trail after. What I'm gonna do now, I am going to switch my camera into the second, second uh, curtain flash sync and I'm gonna show you the result. So I'm gonna trigger again. That's what I wanted. Let's see the result. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna turn on the light back here. If you wanna try the same experiment again, please make sure if you light up a candle, you do not burn your house down. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna prepare a different exercise to show you when I use this because I think it gives me some pretty interesting effects. I'm going to show you a cool exercise in a moment. So I'm going to stop for now and I'm going to do a different setting and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so what we're going to do now, this experiment is the camera on a tripod. Okay. We have the dummy head surrounded by Christmas lights. We're just gonna turn them on. It is pretty creepy to have a dummy head with no neck or anything, but I'm pretty sure you'll survive and you'll sleep tonight. We have Christmas lights. We have the camera on manual mode and I have set up the camera on half a second. 
aperture 6.7 ISO 100 I'm gonna turn on the flash on this is on manual mode no ETTL no nothing else just manual mode half of the power and I'm gonna press this button with this little symbol which you can see right here which symbolizes the second curtain uh, flash sync that means the flash is gonna trigger when the exposure is at the end before right before the curtain closes what I'm gonna do today is show you how I am going to zoom in the same time I am pressing the shutter speed so I'm gonna take a long exposure and I'm gonna zoom in the same time and that will give me a very nice effect so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch off the lights and I'm gonna take a few exposures all right switching off the lights so we know what we're talking about as mentioned before camera in manual mode I'm gonna uh, initiate the exposure and I'm gonna zoom out in the same time it is absolutely a beautiful effect so what that means is at the end of my zoom the camera will uh, trigger the flash and it freezes the last moment okay just changing the settings for a little bit of variance so this won't flicker anymore this is it very nice very cool effect that's about it for today i hope you enjoyed this anyone can do it with the dslr camera with the flash i think it works even with a pop-up flash just play with some long time exposure in low light and maybe you can have a similar setting or whatever I use this most of the time when I'm doing a reception when there's dancing there's a low light situation and I go for long time exposures the camera records the movement and everything is going to become blurry at the end the flash will freeze the motion and I'm going to have a very nice effect I'm already I have already mentioned that in previous tutorials and if you come up with some nice effects just feel free to share them on our Academy of Photography website and as a usual until I see you next time I wish you happy shooting thank you very much